Today we're going to be diagnosing a glow plug issue. Um, I have a check engine light on, P0380, and it's either a glow plug that's bad or the harness itself. Um, I'm leaning towards the harness being bad just because it's a pretty common issue, but uh, we're going to go ahead and diagnose it here and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this harness off and then we'll test each glow plug. It's fairly easy to do as long as you have a multimeter like this. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is remove this 8mm bolt and remove this vacuum reservoir out of the way. Uh, give us more room uh, to get that harness out of there. Be careful not to lose the screw. Put that out of the way. Now we can pull the harness out. And the harness just simply pulls straight up out of this little cavity uh, where the glow plugs are, just pull it straight up. And there's a little plastic clip here holding this wire on for this uh, third injector. So just take this little plastic clip off. bring in closer here to show you this is what I'm referring to this here so if we just pull this right out of there and now the harness is free and we can slide it out you just have to maneuver it a little bit Now these do these harnesses do get uh, brittle over time. If yours is falling apart, I'd replace it. And the part number is actually on the harness itself. That's zero two eight nine seven one seven six six. You can see that there, probably not. I'll just tuck that out of the way, and now we have our glow plugs exposed. All right, now we can take our multimeter, uh, turn it on, make sure you're pointed in ohms. This section here on this multimeter is ohms. I'm at the lowest setting is 200. Um, so what I'd like to do is touch these two together here, make sure that um, it's functioning properly. Should be zero, but this thing isn't perfect. Okay, so what you need to do is touch one end to the glow plug and the other end to a good ground area. I like to use this area just to make sure it's you know somewhat clean, not like a dirty spot. So just hold this here with one hand, and then the other hand uh, put your uh, probe there right on top of the glow plug itself. And these should all be around one ohms or 1 ohm, uh, plus or minus um, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, it doesn't have to be perfect, but they should all be similar readings. If you get like a really, really high reading, then you got a bad glow plug. So we're going to go ahead and test each one. All right, this one's reading 1.0 exactly. This next one this is reading 61.2. We might have a bad plug here. Yep. Okay, this one here is reading 1.1. That's a good one. The last one, 1.0, 1.1. That's a good plug. So it looks like this plug right here is a bad one. So what you can do is replace all four, or just replace one, it's up to you. Um, depends on how many miles you got on these plugs. But uh, I think for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this bad one here, and call it a day.
I do have a spare glow plug. Um, here it is right here. And I got this from uh, Diesel RX. Here's the part number. And this is what it looks like. So you can perform the test out of the vehicle as well. All you do is put your one uh, probe here and the other one right here and um, get your reading that way. Okay, so here's our glow plug and we're gonna go ahead and perform the test this way. So what you do is put your probes like this and wait for the multimeter. And this is a good plug here at 1.0. Um, yeah, one, one ohm. That's what it should be. So that's a good plug. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and spray this up with some penetrant. I'll let that soak for a bit. These can be troublesome to get out. Hopefully not though. And you can do that to uh, all four. Just let it soak. I like to use this stuff, it works really well. Okay, I have my 10 millimeter deep well socket, fits right over top of that plug perfectly, and slowly try to loosen. And there we go. Be careful not to get any debris or anything down in that hole. All right, so here's our bad plug. I removed it from the vehicle. We're gonna perform the test here now. I'll show you guys. There we go, see our rating? 60.8. So this is a bad plug. Although it doesn't look bad, it is bad. Now I replaced these a few years back. It wasn't that long ago, actually. I do have a video on this as well. Um, this is a Beru plug. It's made in Germany and um, I forget how many miles I got out of these but uh, Yeah, so this is, this is just a bad plug Okay, we can take our new glow plug or in this case uh, used but good glow plug and insert it back into the hole here Just be careful And then gently thread it in by hand. And these get torqued to 11 foot-pounds, which is not much at all. So just uh, don't overdo it, guys. You don't want to strip these things. Okay. I forgot to mention I did apply a little bit of uh, anti-seize to the threads. And I did that last time as well, and it really, really helps... Uh, with the removal uh, So I highly recommend doing that So that's good to go So now we can go ahead and put our harness back on and button everything up Okay, we have the harness back into position here now all we need to do is push it on top of these glow plugs You'll feel it click in Okay, that's good. 
off for this vacuum reservoir and the 8mm bolt. Okay, everything's back together. That completes that little project. I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a drive now and see if that check engine light uh, stays out. And if so, uh, problem solved. So I believe that was the fix. I'm really surprised it wasn't the harness itself, uh, but that one glow plug was bad. So I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.